What's going on guys? How's it going? So today what we're going to be doing is something a little bit different. Today I'm going to be reacting to the Bring Me The Horizon and Ed Sheeran collab that happened at the Brit Awards. To me it's a little bit controversial. Never thought I'd see this happen. Never thought I'd see Bring Me The Horizon and Ed Sheeran on the same stage together. But let's see what it sounds like. I am a little bit intrigued. I don't know what to expect with this, okay? Bring Me The Horizon traditionally is in the metal scene. Obviously Ed Sheeran is in a completely different world of his own, kind of pop. Now, if you are the type of person that only wants to see the positive in these reaction videos, then skip ahead. Because honestly, I'm gonna be completely honest. If there's something I don't like, I'm gonna say it. If there's something I like, likewise, I'm gonna say it too. What probably will happen in this reaction video is I probably will start talking in musician terms. All right, so let's get stuck into this performance then. Straight away, Ed Sheeran's out of tune. <laughs> oh, straight away, just because I'm a musician. Um, you see this a lot with singers. You know, when they first start singing, it's a little bit sketchy until they kind of find the feet. It wasn't terrible, but yeah, it's obvious that he's out of tune there. Every time you come around, you know I can't say no. What's really weird straight away is the fact that Ed Sheeran's playing an electric instead of an acoustic, it's just really strange to me to see. Every time the sun goes down, I let you take control. I can feel the paradise before my world implodes. And tonight had something wonderful. My bad habit. I love straight away how you can just see Ollie Sykes in the background, just kind of like, so far, it just sounds like the original to me, the actual original Ed Sheeran song. I'm imagining it's going to get a little bit rocky now, so let's check it out. Can I just say, absolute props to the drummer of Bring Me The Horizon here, because the timing is just absolutely flawless. Because he's having to emulate the synthetic kick drum, and that kick drum would be flawlessly in time in the original song. In this live performance here, he's really on time to try and make it sound almost like electronic. If that is actually being performed, and what I mean by that is it actually is really live, that timing is brilliant. For real drummer to play a program drum beat, I think is really quite difficult. All right, straight away it's better than the original. Now what's interesting here, and sorry I keep stopping it, but I have so much to say compared to probably typical reaction videos from people who are non-musicians. The guitars sound great. Obviously I'm biased because I'm a guitar player. Bring Me The Horizon for this cover are tuned, I think the same on the bass and the guitar as they are normally. What can I say? The production sounds great on this. I mean, you would expect it to be great anyway because it's the Brit Awards. The mixing is absolutely flawless. It really is, it's great. It actually works. I wasn't expecting it to work, but it does. It seems like what they're doing is they're trying to do a 50-50 blend between Bring Me The Horizon and the way they approach their music and Ed Sheeran. It's kind of working. It's still funny seeing Ed Sheeran there without an acoustic. Every pure intention ends when the good times start. Falling over everything to reach the first time spark. Seriously, why, why is there a dude in a trolley? Like, what is going on? Why? Honestly, what's really interesting here is you can hear how different Ollie Sykes is to Ed Sheeran. So Ollie Sykes is copying Ed Sheeran's lyrics from the original. This is the second verse. But what's interesting is you can hear that Ollie Sykes is approaching this a lot more kind of breathy. Okay, so he's using a different vocal technique to what Ed Sheeran typically does. Um, it's a nice blend, actually. Instead of having to listen to Ed Sheeran again, <laughs> sorry, it's actually quite nice to hear. Um, a different vocal to keep it interesting. Normally verse two is when things start to get boring in songs. So I think that's why they've put Ollie Sykes here tactically to keep it engaging. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Out of tune. I mean, I prefer all these sides to Ed Sheeran, but yeah, that was out of tune as well. You can hear when he's really trying to push the pitch and go high, he's not quite reaching it. But the screams and stuff sound good, you know? Um, it's a nice edge. This is definitely a lot better than the original. The drummer for Brumi, the Rising, has got to be so in time with those kick hits. It's brilliant. If that's live, it might not be live. All right, so now Ollie Sykes has warmed up. <laughs> you can hear it in his voice. He's a lot more confident. He's hitting a lot more with the right notes. Uh, his pitch is a lot better. You can see he's a lot more into it as well. Um, so he's warmed up by this point. You can hear vocally. Those guitars just sound awesome. I don't think it's just one guitar tune that low. So is Ed Sheeran actually in the same tuning? That's the question. Or is it that some of this actually isn't live and they've actually recorded some of the kick drum before this performance and so it's just a backing track in the same with the guitars and they're just dub they're doubling up. Um, who knows? What's interesting with this is it looks like Ed Sheeran is actually playing eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. But what it sounds like to me is that the guitars are actually just ringing out rather than repeatedly being played. We took the long way round And burned till the fire ran out He had to, didn't he? He had to. To be fair, Bring Me The Horizon are making this song far better than the original. I just really love just those first few chords, those power chords that are played on the guitar at the beginning of that chorus. They're just so low. It sounds like a seven string, but what happens is, is Lee Malia, the guitar player, I think that's his name, he tunes his guitar like a seven string, but on a six string. He just tunes that low. I think it's like drop A or something around there. Might be even lower actually. <laughs> I like the breakdown at the end as well. That was interesting. You weren't expecting it, were you? I wasn't expecting it, unless you've watched this before. I've got to say, I think that worked, surprisingly enough. But I think a lot of that came from Bring Me The Horizon. So as much as I don't actually like the original, I would actually listen to this. I'm not going to lie, I would. Like I say, I just really like the sound of that chorus. I think the arrangement on this is really, really good. Um, they've obviously took the original and made it a lot better because let's face it, you know, that original 
of bad habits is just <laughs> this sounds a lot better a lot better and i like what bring me the horizon have done with this i think for bring me the horizon it's really brave of them actually to kind of step into the frontiers of working with that cheering i don't think a lot of the fans would like that and i was dubious at first before i actually listened to this performance from the brit awards but i've got to say i was pleasantly surprised it works if this was actually the original I would listen to it. I do think that quite a bit of this actual performance, though, was pre-recorded, listening to it. You can't have parts that flawlessly performed and, and have all these different vocal layers unless there's some type of backing track going on. So not everything that you're hearing is actually being played on stage. I think if you're not a musician, you might not be aware of that, but that's something just to take note. There is a lot of preparation in the arrangement and the back and drag leading up to this because it's been very well mixed and produced, but it does give the illusion that, you know, it's all a real performance when it's not. So, so that is my reaction to Bad Habits with Boomy the Rising and Ed Sheeran at the Brit Awards. I think it was a good performance, not to take away from it, the fact they're using backing tracks. It's just good to know that not everything's live.